Hello, hello, hello. How are you? It is Tuesday, and it's a little bit of a mixed up Tuesday for me. So, I didn't know if I'd be able to do a, a live for Tuesday tips, techniques, and teachings or not. And since we just heard that um, our sweet pup, May, is doing well, and she's gonna get to come home today, I thought I would go ahead and do a project, but I had nothing planned. So, <laughs> let me pull us up. There we are. Great. Turn the volume down because you don't need to hear me twice. And when you pop on, let me know you are here. I would so appreciate knowing that and also love to know if you can do me a favor and cheer this on or sprinkle it around. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Sandy. Okay, so since I didn't have anything really planned at all, and I probably don't know where half of the things are that I'm going to need, like paper towels. Oh, there they are. <laughs> um, I had done the deer project recently, and when uh, Essential Stencil was having their sale, I wanted to promote some projects that used stencils that were in stock because they were running out of product that they'll get back in. But um, I did that, and it was really a lot of fun. In fact, I ended up saving another picture I did, and I posted that for you guys. So there's the deer. Let me show you the deer. If I can reach him. So we did this deer where we kind of ombre the deer head and then we added the trees. And I said I really wanted to try to do that on, I thought it would be really cool to do it on a stocking, but I, I the only ones I have found have been more burlapy than canvas and I don't know how that is gonna work. So what I did find was on sale at Michael's, I found um, a canvas pillow cover. So that's what we're gonna try it on. And I think I might even treat myself. I have a new set of these, so I think I'm actually going to use the new deer because this deer is having a little issue. Or maybe not. Yeah, we'll set that down. There are some things you just deserve to have a new one of. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, so good to see you guys. I would love if you guys could sprinkle or cheer this around. I don't know where my sign is, but you guys know how to do it. And... If you feel like sending me some stars, that's great too. Those make me happy and keep me in all sorts of things. I was going to tell you something. When I get my stencils, one of the things I like to do is however they are originally meant to be. Now this deer head, of course, could be flipped around either way. But I like to take some type of marker, a Sharpie or a paint pen, and I like to mark which side was supposed to be the, the side. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm not making sense, am I? Probably. Probably not. But especially if you've got something like trees, sometimes if you pay attention to how they were cut, this would be a good one, these trees, that this, there are three sizes. There's a medium, a tall, and a small. And if I look at the picture, I can see that the way it was cut was with the medium to be on this side. Now that doesn't mean I can't switch them, but it makes a little bit of difference when you're cleaning stencils if you are cleaning, having the paint on the right side. <clears throat> Hopefully that makes some sense. So we're going to put you down. I've got this canvas just on, um, I don't know how, how big it is, but they were on clearance. So I picked one up. I thought that would be a good thing to try. Oops, let me try if I can get this. Oops, I've got to make a little adjustment because I'm not right. I'm not right where I want to be. Hang on. I swear. There you go. All right. And I put a, like, a cookie sheet underneath it. So I'm first going to lay down my deer head, and then I'll come back and add the tree. So you'll get to see this again. I would tape it down if you have the ability to do so. This has always been one of my very favorite stencils. So I like being able to use it. And I like that it's usually in stock as well. Okay, I'm making sure I'm all the way up here. Pushing my board in, pulling it out, pulling it taut. And then we'll just tape a couple spots. Tape it down here, tape it down here. All right, I did those kind of in blues before. I think I'm gonna do this one kind of in green colors. And we can go from there. I love the deer too. I use the deer a ton. In fact, I'll show you the piece that I saved that was painted a deer and it just hasn't sold. So rather than just 
ditch it. I thought I would go ahead and try to use that same method that we did. Hang on. Lift you up for a second. So I took this canvas and I went ahead and added the deer head and then came in and added some trees down below. Now the trees down below, I cannot take credit for. Somebody else tried the deer head and said they actually smeared the bottom of their deer and so they just added the trees on the bottom. But I thought that turned out really kind of cool. Now originally this guy just had snowflakes around him and he just didn't look complete. So that's why I did that with that one. All right, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so let's go down. And I'm just gonna be using regular acrylic paint that I'm gonna mix a little bit of fabric medium in. That is my preferred method. Um, fabric, <clears throat> I love so soft fabric paints as well. And you have people who just use straight acrylic paint. Do what works for you. But for now, I'm going to, I want my deer to be lighter on the top and get a little darker, and then I can add some of those trees. So let's see if we can make this work. So here we go. You are upside down. I apologize. Just turn your phone upside down. You'll live. So I want it lighter here and I want it to get darker. So I've got some sage and I've got some forest. I've got some black forest and I have some black green. I think those would be good colors. And I, while I do want to have a little bit of color up on top. I don't want there to be, I don't want it to be too minty. So let's see what we can do with these colors. So when I mix fabric medium in my paint, this one doesn't want to come out, I mix about half and half. Again, that's kind of up to you. Wait, I'm doing one more color before I get, before I get going here. And a lot of times I will brush mix it. And a lot of times I will just add the fabric medium right to it. It would be helpful to have the fabric medium right here. What did I do with the fabric medium? I know I grabbed it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Hang on, hang tight, hang tight. That's why it's always good to have an extra bottle. <laughs> fabric medium this one's from decor and I know I'm gonna find the other find it right away so I'm just mixing it with my paint and I'm gonna have um, a little bit of some light buttermilk here too just in case I need to lighten that first color up a little bit I'm gonna grab a stencil brush I am I am I am guys in a hot mess today I'm gonna do a pretty big one and I'm gonna go into that greenish color even though I'm mixing fabric medium into this, I still need to offload some of that paint or it's going to be way too runny. Now that I've put my paint everywhere. So I'm offloading. I think that's too green for the very top. So I'm going to pick up a little of the light buttermilk to make it a little lighter. Okay, so I'm going to start up here. I'm going to hang on to mine. And if it's a really small place, I might just start at my edge and pull in. Oops. That way I can hang on to my horns a little bit as I go. It's a little wetter than when I'm stenciling on wood or canvas because I'm still trying to penetrate <clears throat> into the fabric a little bit. Okay, so I'm pulling this from the edge of the stencil into my painting. How far down do we want to go? About that far. You could easily just do this deer head, <clears throat> excuse me, a solid color too. I picked up a little of the forest green. I want to make sure it kind of blends with this one. Hello, hello, hello. I appreciate you guys. Love when you guys are sprinkling me around and uh, um, cheering it, whatever we're calling it today. I'm just wiping this off a lot on this paper towel. I do want a little lighter up at the very top, I think. So I'm gonna pick up a little more of that white. 
or buttermilk, just so it blends in. Okay, I don't want it to stand out. Okay, so this is the forest green. Let's do a little more of the forest green. Offloading. I had to go press this because it was really, really wrinkly. Around those real small places, you might need to even pounce a bit. And I know I'm going to be, oh, I'm losing, I'm losing some stencil brush hairs. I know I'm going to be adding trees, but I still want to have this pretty decent coverage. So let's go a little, I think I'm going to go into a little bit of the two darker greens. And I've got the fabric medium right in there. more fabric medium. I'm going to add a little dark on the bottom after I get this filled in. A little darker. Because I'm working on fabric, it is soaking in a little bit. So I might actually have to give this a second coat up on the top. It looks like it's really fading into the back, into the fabric. That's okay. I'm just gonna come back and reverse. So dark to the forest green, to picking up some of the lighter green. Lighter. just because I want it to have good coverage. Lighter. I don't want it to be too minty on it's his uh, antler, so we'll stick to the more light color in his head, going up into his ears a little bit before we flip into some more. Whoops, 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 whoops. It's okay. It's all good. I just wanna make sure he's good and covered. Let's first peek and see if, if he looks decent. Yeah, we got a tiny, tiny bit of bleed right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that right now. I'm just gonna do that with picking up that color that we used and just kind of cleaning up that line. It's not the end of the world. Be a little lighter. Okay. So there he's already kind of cool as he's variegated down wise. Okay, so I'm gonna lay him back on here. Tape him back down. And this is where we played with the trees. And the trees can be big trees, little trees. You could even hand do your trees. These trees are from, um, see, that's really big. I could only probably use the side trees, but that one would be really big and you'd only see the one. So that doesn't work particularly well. So we have uh, trees that were from this set that did work pretty well, but we used some smaller ones too up here. And I know I grabbed it. I know I did. If not, we can use this one. I know I did. And this is driving me crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. But I can use these just as they are. So I'm gonna use some of the smaller trees first Guys, this is driving me nuts. So I'm gonna want some, we want light and dark, but I'm gonna start with like this guy that I'm probably just gonna see the top of it. I'm gonna move my paint down so I don't lay in it. Huh, I wonder what I do with those trees. Look at it, I found them, I found them. There, see these are just a little smaller, so they're a little easier to use in the very back. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a light tree. And pardon me, these are not clean. <laughs> I was playing with my stencils earlier. And you can either use a stencil brush or you can use a sponge. I'm gonna go into just a smaller stencil brush. I'm gonna do a lighter tree with, I want it to show up. So I've gotta kinda of pay attention to the color that is. So I know it's gotta be lighter than that. So I might go right into almost that ivory color, which was the light buttermilk. 
give me a little more of that. I do also heat set my projects when I'm done. Um, and I do mine by putting a piece of parchment paper over it and pressing. And I'm pulling my tree in. Okay, and then we're going to want another one about here. Let's make this one maybe a shade of the greens. So let's go into a darker shade of green. I'm just using the same brush. Can't see that yet, so I'm gonna pick up a little more paint. Not that it needs to be super dark, but I do wanna be able to see the tree. I can see that one enough. And I think I'll go ahead and just use that one since it's there and we'll grab a much darker one, but I'm still gonna keep it faint. I can keep it really light with the paint um, pressure. That'll keep it, a, give it a darker color, but still keep the coverage lighter. A little more. Got those. All right, remember I came back too and added some stick trees with mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more. Maybe we'll do one that sticks up in the middle here, a little higher. Now I'm probably just gonna use these today. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some black green. So that's my much darker green. Offloading. I'm gonna keep my pressure light. Ooh, you can, whoa, whoa, way too much. So that one shows up really well. And then I can keep using these or I can go to the bigger trees. Gotta decide. I think we might go to a bigger tree. This set was also still in stock from Essential Stencil the last time I looked. I'm gonna use this guy first over here. I'm gonna make him a little lighter again. Let's just see, is that light enough? Nope, not light enough. I got him all the way down here. So that guy's gonna show up there. We're gonna need probably one to hit us about here. Maybe if we did him here, tall, would cover up most of it. Let's see, we'll see. Now I have a choice, I can cover up part of that tree I can scooch it a bit more, or I can just kind of mask off and let this one be on the top. It doesn't, there's no rules. So do what it feels like it's gonna be right. I think that'll be pretty good. And I think this one's gonna be, hmm, hmm. I'm trying to decide the color. I think I've, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna move over here with this guy and move him way up high and make this one really dark, okay? Like really dark, medium dark. The nice thing is if I happen to need a little more tree, I can just scooch this down and the pines don't have to match exactly. Okay, 
So we've got this tree and this tree and this tree. We're going to need something in the middle there. I think I might have to... Oh, this one's going to be good. We're going to make this one be on top of it all. Let me grab a little more light. Offloading my brush. And... This is the stencil I probably should have bought a new one of when I had a chance of them all being on sale. Okay. All right, so there are my trees. These two are too similar in color, so we've got to go back and change one of them. Is this this guy? This is this guy. So let's just make him super light. I should have that stencil still there, but I'm going to try to just do this carefully. So then what I did, first I'm going to put my brushes in water, then I found a skinny brush, probably skinnier than that, and I added some, just a few stick trees here and there, and depending on where they are in the piece, they might need to be lighter or they might, might, might need to be darker. So let's do a couple of really light ones that look like they're coming from here. There's a stick tree. Maybe there's a little darker one up here that we see between here. And remember, stick trees can go on top of your pines. Need a little more water in my brush to make that go. I do think it would be fun to do this with on a stocking. I think that'd be really fun for the guys, for a guy's stocking. But I haven't found one that I like yet. Now, if you wanted to add some trees at the base, too, like I showed you on the, the one canvas picture, you certainly could. A couple little light ones here. It's not afraid to cross over. A couple darker ones, maybe. When you're working on canvas, you're going to have to pull a little more water to get some of your details. It's just your paint's just not going to flow without it. I like the greens. Someone had suggested doing these in pinks, too. It could be pretty, and since it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I could have done that too, couldn't have I? Just making little Y's off my tree. I'm wondering if that one's a little too, too bright, too much right there. So we're just going to pull some little sticks. What do you think? Now with this guy, if you wanted to, to make him more wintry, you could put some snow on his antlers similar to what I did with this guy. I just added a little bit of snow to his antlers just by wherever you would think snow would hit. I'm gonna take this off. 
So it is very possible to do this. So, you, so we put the deer down first and then we put, we did all our trees on top of the deer. Um, you can do it either way. You could put the trees under the deer too, but the, what the deer did is gave us a way to, I don't like that one spot. I'm gonna have to go back and fix that. But there he is. Get my light out here. This one has a lot more, a lot more deer on it than the original one that we did on the piece of wood. So they all look really different. Um. So I mean, you've gotten to see me do it the deer a couple times. So we got to see the the two tone stenciling, and we will um be a little more prepared next week perhaps hey but i did get some fun projects started for you um the eighth i'm going to be doing a wine bottle on two uh, on tuesday's tips techniques and teachings we'll do uh the white trees both the tap trees and the stick trees on a wine bottle so drink up <laughs> and then that night i have a class that i'm going to do two different glass bottles this is one of them and this is the one i'm calling the church and I chose, I don't know if you can see that or not, the, I chose to add snow text to the tree. And I think it really helps set that off. And then the other one we're gonna do that evening on the 8th is the lamp post. And again, you can see I kind of added snow text on that pine bough that is kind of hugging that, that lamp post. So really fun, really different. Um, everything, everything is already in that group, so um, i let you know. I've been working on classes. I had to get in-person classes done so I could get those um, started to get registered, and I'm working on all the online ones today. Oh, you like the bottles? I'm so glad. So they really were pretty easy. Um, the one that we will do for Tuesday Tips, Techniques, and Teachings, I did this on a green bottle, the... the um, the white trees just need a background color so if you don't have if your bottle is clear you can either spray it with a spray paint or just make it um frosted this is just frosted spray paint back of this one um the trees are also beautiful on a blue bottle if you know anybody who happens to like uh, riesling wine a lot of those come in blue bottles but we will do the tap tree do 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 Cap trees and the stick trees, very simple. But these make such great gifts. And I did put a link in, those are the lights that we use. Um, like I put an Amazon link in for you and so they just gonna go right in here with this little, little thing, turn them on in and off. So they make wonderful gifts for the holidays. So, and I've lit up all of those too and now I have to go get more, more, more uh, cork lights. All right, let's set that down. Now I have stencils to go clean and stencil brushes. Um, again, thank you so much for all those who sent. How do you frost the bottles? The bottle, this one that I frosted, I used um, a frost spray paint. I believe it was Krylons. Um, I, um, I'll, I'll find it, I'll put a link in here for you, but I'm pretty sure it's Krylons. Um, I think, no, no, no. Rust-Oleum. Mine was Rust-Oleum, but I think Krylon makes one as well, but it's just a frost paint. Um, and I just sprayed it really quickly. Um, so that was that one. Let me see. But I want to thank any of everyone who sent us some uh, positive uh, vibes and we're thinking about Miss May May. I'm so happy she gets to come home tonight. Um, her sister Piper has just been lost without her. So I love my girls. Apparently they love each other. <laughs> so it, it, was a, it was an interesting day. Piper has been by my side whining for her sister most of the day. All right, guys, I hope you like that. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. I think that would be about it. I don't know that I would add anything to that. I think it would just let it be the deer head. Um, you could you know, bring, put some snowflakes around his neck like I did it on the the one, or he can just be just plain. And I kind of liked when she did the trees across there. So I might give that a whirl too. That was, she used these trees, I believe. I think she used these trees across. Oh, nope, those would have been way too big. 
So I had to do these. <laughs> and she just put the trees straight across in the bottom, like such. So that could be kind of cool too. I might, I might consider doing that. That's what I've got for you guys for today. And um, hello, all of you guys who popped out. And thanks so much for sharing. And I will be on and doing another fun project sometime this week, now that I know that my girls are good. Oh, and Friday, make sure you celebrate because Friday is an international, not just national, international champagne day. And I think you all need to cheers. Talk to you soon. Be kind, be safe. Bye-bye.